There was smoke come out of it. Something fell off the back and it just gradually fell to the ground. Uh, I'd say that the seven patients that we received are in, in serious critical condition. I think it's miraculous in any situation like this that, that anybody survives. The news continues with the night nice team. Brad Wright, Alice Carone, Scott Murray, and Harold Taft. And now, Channel 5 News Tonight. Good evening, everyone. At least eight soldiers died in a fiery helicopter crash in Chico, Texas, 60 miles north of Fort Worth this afternoon. Tonight, up to 10 survivors are still being treated for severe burns. Channel 5's Jim Douglas says there was little left of the big twin rotor chopper to walk away from. Survivors say the big twin rotor chopper had fire in the tail and the pilot was looking for open territory to land. He almost made it. There was smoke come out of it and something fell off the back and it just gradually fell to the ground. Those who got out told their stories to emergency room doctors. But a ball of fire came up in the back of the helicopter. These people were towards the front, and as soon as they saw the fire, they started trying to get out. Men working nearby raced to the site with small fire extinguishers until local fire departments arrived. Witnesses saw two soldiers jump from the flaming Army Chinook while it was still 35 feet off the ground. Then it hit and slid and burst into a sheet of fire. I think it's miraculous in any situation like this that, that anybody survives, and there were a number of survivors. Some survivors were horribly burned. Others seemed to be in surprisingly good shape. Well, a number of them were speaking to us and holding conversations, which I thought was very optimistic. You wouldn't expect to find any optimism in this smoldering pasture. The Chinook is a huge machine, bearing no resemblance to this twisted pile of metal, surrounded by a few stubborn fires and white sheets covering bodies. Authorities say the helicopter was taking soldiers from Fort Hood to Fort Sill in Oklahoma for training. It caught fire near Cheek, about 60 miles north of Fort Worth. The crash scattered debris and bodies over more than an acre, and the wood fire it started still burns into the evening. Late in the afternoon, the air filled with the beating blades of helicopters as Army investigators arrived to look for the cause and take home their dead. Jim Douglas, Channel 5 News Tonight. Hey, here you go. Many of those who survived the crash are tonight fighting for their lives. Channel 5's Marty Griffin says the most severely burned victims were quickly care-flighted to Parkland Hospital. And a few minutes after 5, the first care-flight helicopter appeared in the sky over Parkland Hospital, carrying two victims of the crash, both male, both military, both badly burned. More would follow. Parkland received four burn patients, and three tra trauma patients. The um, burn patients are being flown at the request of the military to Brooks uh, Hospital, and the three trauma patients will be staying at Parkland. The trauma patients have broken bones, head injuries. The others have burns over 90 to 100 percent of their bodies. One official said at best their condition can be described as very, very serious. But that official added, immediate help will increase their chances of survival. We were ready. We were ready for them. We mobilized. We had plenty of physicians. We had plenty of nursing staff. A complete staff of military doctors will transport the surviving burn victims by airplane sometime tonight to Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio. It's a military facility well known for its treatment of burn victims. Right now, that team of military doctors who are specialists with Vern victims are inside Parkland Hospital preparing those four victims for transport to San Antonio. They will be taken in these ambulances right here. A bunch of military people arrived moments ago with a bunch of equipment. They brought that inside the hospital. They're preparing those victims right now. They'll be taken to Love Field. At 10.45, a plane is to arrive at Love Field. The victims will be put on that plane. It's about a 45-minute flight to San Antonio. Once they arrive there, they will be taken to the military hospital there, and another team of doctors will pick up the cases of these four burn victims. Other victims of this crash have been taken to Harris Hospital in Fort Worth. Channel 5's Mark Schumacher is standing by live there with some other information. Mark, what do you have?